Tusker mattresses, popularly known as Tuskies supermarkets, have made the first step towards listing at the Nairobi Securities Exchange. The retailer became the latest entrant on the Ibuka program of the NSC. Gashari Moses has the details. Listing, so today... It is the presentation of the certificate to Tusky Supermarket Management that signaled their intentions to later open up the chain's ownership to other investors. I mean, uh, as, a, as, a, as a young man in university, I remember KQ. I remember we scrabbled for Kenjen. Uh, then we went, uh, there was Safaricom. We want to be one of those remarkable listings in the stock exchange. And that is the reason why we have decided to go through a book up so that we can deal with all other issues that would make us not a remarkable listing. The decision setting the stage for the first family-owned local retail store to put itself up for public scrutiny. According to Gidua, the retailer is eyeing a listing date at the end of next year. Through the Ibuka program, Taskis hopes to raise its profile by having access to financial advisors and consultants to help them structure their businesses and enhance visibility. Taskis is now a true attestment. And, uh, oh great, another alumina here from Nivea. <laughs> Pleasure. It's a true attestment that this program is really the way to go for companies that are aspiring to really be uh, companies of the future. Currently, Taskis is the leading retail store in Kenya, having taken over the slot from Nakumat supermarkets that is being weighed down by an avalanche of debts. This position in Gidua says has in recent days seen them caught a strategic investor to be able to grow their financial war chests. Taskis is almost done with the process of bring on, bringing on board an experienced strategic investor um, who will buttress Started nearly 30 years ago as a family-owned shop in Rongai, Nakuru County, Tusky Supermarket today boasts of 63 retail stores across Kenya with ambition to grow its recently established e-commerce platform. Gashiri Moses, Citizen TV.